Hey everyone, I'm back and today we're going to be talking about Paul Thomas Anderson's Boogie Nights from 1997. And uh, this is my first time watching this movie. I found it on Netflix and I decided to watch it because it was on my watch list for a long time. And I really had a great time with this movie. I really loved it. And uh, I think the story is really what holds this movie together along with its characters and its performances and how it portrays everything. The presentation. Just everything. Everything in it is really great. I'm going to start off with the opening scene because I think that scene is fantastic and it's all done in one take and and the reason why I love that opening shot is because it introduces you to all of the main characters that you don't realize that are going to be the main characters in the movie but it introduces you to them all and I think it was really well done you get a sense of who they are just a little bit not a whole lot but just a little bit it's a nice introduction that I really liked I thought the performances were really great uh, Mark Wahlberg he's really good and uh, the rest of the cast is excellent and uh, I thought uh, that they were really great and uh, there's uh, scenes that have nudity in them and even those scenes uh, are pretty funny some of sometimes they're used for comedy or most of the time they're used for comedy, sorry. And I found it to be pretty funny. But I think uh, the movie offers more than just uh, having nudity in these scenes. I think it actually has a purpose towards it. Mainly because uh, the story is about uh, what it's like to be in the this business. And how society looks at you after you've been... And uh, they don't uh, say... I, I, no one says that they were involved with pornography. They just say, I was an actor. I'm an actor. And that's how they treat it, because technically, it, because it is acting. But uh, the way uh, the public uh, looks at it, it's not acting. It's just <laughs> kind of improvised and really uh, uncomfortable, and no one really takes them seriously. And it, it really uh, shows the consequences of that. And I thought that was all really well done. And and the consequences in the movie it don't really start happening until the second half of the movie. But when they do start happening, you really do feel as though all of the drama that's happening in that second half is genuine. I thought it was all great. I was engaged with it. My only issue with the movie is that in the second half of the movie, that's when it's supposedly start to go downhill for everybody. And my complaint isn't with that in particular. I just felt when it was shifting, because the movie is structured as a rise and fall kind of story... And uh, the rise uh, element in the movie was perfect, no flaws there, and the fall element was perfect. However, where my issue is, is right in the middle, I just felt as though getting to the fall element was rushed. It might have just been me, but I just felt like there was one scene that was missing, and that's my only real criticism with the movie. But uh, the rest of the movie is excellent, and I also wanted to talk about the first half, and... In the first half of the movie, there's a scene where Mark Wahlberg, he's uh, confronting with his mom and and she's talking about uh, how he's just nothing. He owns nothing and just uh, really be beating him over the head with that, that he's uh, going to make nothing of his life. And uh, he's not uh, being rebellious. He's not uh, trying to fight her physically and uh, hit her. He doesn't hit her. And it makes sense uh, because uh, in that time period... Uh, kids were less rebellious against their parents <laughs> and there's plenty of other stuff uh, that I can get into but I can't really talk about those things because I'm not really getting into spoiler territory even though I kind of said what the how the movie structure is however I kind of want to save that uh, for your own experience because the things that I kind of want to talk about are that really are the best parts of the movie for me and I thought those elements were really funny <laughs> and I I I really want you to check this movie out. And with all that being said, I'm going to give Boogie Nights a 9 out of 10. And it could be a 10 out of 10 if I were to see it a second time, but this is my first time watching it. And I really enjoyed it. Thank you for watching my videos as always. If you enjoyed this review, be sure to leave a like and comment down below what you thought of Boogie Nights down below. And my social media links, they will all be in the description down below, so follow me there. And last but not least, subscribe to be a part of Foley Nation. And I'll see you when I get my next review up. And uh, that's going to be... I have no idea what that's going to be. I, I have a couple suggestions of movies I would like to talk about. These are just like random, four random movies. Uh, Fantastic Four, 
Rise of the Silver Surfer. You could talk about 300. Uh, Wall Street. <laughs> uh, these are movies that I've either seen, like, haven't seen in a long time or never seen before. This is something I haven't seen before. And I forgot to show this in my Blu-ray collection video. The Death of Superman. Although this is the actual full story of The Death of Superman. It also comes with... Superman Doomsday, and uh, this is the Blu-ray, and this is the DVD, and I haven't seen it. I've seen parts of it, but never the full thing, and I'm not sure uh, what I'm going to review first, but, but until I review all of these movies, thank you for watching, and have a great day.